Hey, hi, hello. This is Aruna from A4 Analytics, and in this video, we're gonna look about what are the different types of filters available in Microsoft Power BI. Stay tuned. You guys very well know that Microsoft Power BI is the most powerful tool in the market now for business intelligence, creating the reports, dashboards. And uh, so when you create a report and you, you obviously keep a filter or slicer or, or, or anything that you want the end users to slice and dice the records. So we're going to look at what are the different types of filters that are available in Power BI. So we're going to look at most important ones. So we're going to look at visual level filter, page level filter, report level filter, drill through and finally the slicer. First one, visual level filter. So when we talk about visual level filter, so that filters out a particular visual in the report. Let's say for instance, so, so I'm going to collapse it. Let's say I want to filter this particular visualization, the top 10 store sales. If that is the case, so I want to filter it by store name. So I go into the table, store name has already been selected. And if you want to do filter level filter, it is a very simple mechanism. I just going to right click it. So I'm going to see add to filter over here. If I hover over the add to filter, the different filters are showing up in the drop down visual level, page level, and report level. So now we're going to do it for a visual level. So I'm going to add it to the visual level. And once you add it, once you expand the filters pane, so you see that that filter has been added to this section filter on this visual on the selected visual so you can do uh, interactions you can filter out by albany store so that will be applied only to this visualizations so when i click something you can clearly see that so no other visualizations have been affected so i'm gonna click another one so so this this is the only filter this is the only visualizations that has been getting this value from this field store name. So this is a visual level filter. So I got to remove it. So, so next one is page level filter. So page level filter is applying a filter for all the components on the particular page. It's not for particular visualizations, but for whatever the visualizations we have in this page, that filter will be applied to all the visualizations for instance so again i'm going to the store table I'm going to the store name so i'm going to right click it so once you right click it you see the different options i'm going to add add to filter so i'm going to do it for page level filter when you do it you need to make sure this has been expanded and you see that field has been added to filter on this page so which is a page level filter so i can select or check it or uncheck it whatever the values i need for this table for this field so i'm going to filter it by contazo asia reseller so when i select it you can see the different visualizations in this power bi report is filtered out so unlike visual level filter, this will apply filter to all the visualizations in the report. So now, so it's the second one. So let's go to the third one, report level filter. So I'm going to remove it. So I'm going to make sure this has been open to see the filter has been added. So when we, when we keep a field to the filter, so now so dim store going to the same one store name add to filters report level filter 
so i'm gonna click it so please read carefully when i click it you will see the field will be added to this area filter on all the pages so yeah so when i add it the field has been added to that particular section of a filter now so the difference between the visual level a page level and the report level is so which will the visual level added the filter only to the one this visual the, the the selected visual the page level filter is adding a filter to all the components of a particular page so when i what i mean by page the page is a single page <clears throat> this canvas is a single page so a filter will be added to the all the components in this visual what about our report level so when we have a report pbix file a p a report is composed of a different n number of pages so i'm gonna add a filter for entire report for all the pages irrespective of anything how to do it so when you right click it you will you can add it to filters on all the pages so when i click any any values for this field let's say counter so albany store so so we can make sure that so i have two pages already uh you can see i have a simple table store name brand name sales amount so so i gonna filter out counter so albany store yeah it's working fine so this page is filtered out based on the albany store so when i go to the speech two, so this visual also filtered out by contest of albanisto so so this is happened because of filter applied on all the pages of a report that's a report level filter yeah so i gonna remove it now so i don't want it so fourth one drill through so I have two pages over here. So this is a main page. This is the drill through page. So drill through page has store name, brand name, sales amount. And this is a very simple report. Let's say I want to see a particular data from one page. If you want to do that, I want to send the value, filter value from page one to the page two so that I can see the level of details of a report for a particular concept in the second report without going to filter the second report. So how to do that? For example, so I want to filter Contoso uh, Asia online store. All right. So I have a uh, page two, which has a store name. So what is the name of it sorry um yeah north america reseller so when i right click this is north america reseller so i want to drill through i want to go to the next page with that particular north america reseller value and that value needs to be filtered in this table how to do that so before that so we need to add a field to this page to this particular page to do that drill through so i have a store name field so i'm going to drag and drop in this drill through area so i don't want to do anything so so when i add it you can notice that a back button is automatically created i didn't do anything it's automatic created when i add a field to the drill through okay i do it again so so when i remove it we can see carefully over here i gonna drag store name and put it on drill through so this will create a back button so which is very much useful when you want to go back to the main report main page from the current page so i have added a field that needs to be drilled through in the page two from the page one from the master page so i'm gonna drill through it so contazo north america reseller i'm gonna right click it so when you 
However, it 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 showing you that right click to drill through. So that is the power of intelligence of Power BI. Now uh, right click and and you see the option drill through. And this drill through page tells you what are the pages for this report that is available to drill through. So I have only one page that is drill through page. I name it as drill through. So you can name it whatever you want. So drill through page. So this will redirect from the master page to the next level page. So in this page, you can clearly see the the contacts of North America reseller is only been selected. Now, if you want to do another, uh, you know, another drill through for for different store name, I can go back, go back using this button or this one. So I can on right click it, drill through by contacts of European reseller and drill through it, and you see. The filter value has been traveled from page one to the page two and this is very much important and most of uh, real-time reports has been will be using this feature drill through filters and the last and final one fifth one splicer so it's a very simple one you know that so you can use the slicer visualizations available in the visualization pane so slicer so I can add whatever field I can do so I'm gonna add store name all right okay so I am saying only one slicer because drill through filter sits on top and providing a context table and that table will have only values that has been already filter so, so I gonna remove it first of all so you're gonna roll the I'll drill through and other filters so you see the list of filters are available over here and so I can select what I want and so this slicer act based on the data model relationships the flows uh, the by directions we provide by direction of filters we provide so this doesn't only do it on a visual level this will do it on a page level on for whatever the visualizations we have in the filter so you don't go to the next page and filter out so this will only works on a single page so this is a slicer filter and these are very important filters we use in regular basis on real-time reports when we build it for a client and thank you for watching if you have any questions please post it in the comment below and if you see any other video which is better than this, please post it in the comment below. And if I missed any filter, please don't hesitate to mention it in the comments. I will create a separate video for a particular filter you mentioned it over there. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. See you. Bye.